Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the comparison and logical operators. In C++, we have the comparison operators such as uh, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal to, not equal to and uh, we have some logical operators called uh, and or not all right guys now we're gonna see you know how to use all these operators in our programs so just for the demonstration purpose here in this tutorial we're gonna be asking the user to enter a date so we're gonna check that date using the if and the comparison and logical operators and uh, we're gonna print the appropriate message all right first we need a variable to receive the value entered by the user so i'm going to create an integer variable and i'm going to call it as date next we need to ask the user to enter the date and i'm going to use cout and i'm going to ask enter the date next i'm going to add a new line here it's going to be end line and then we need to use c in to write the input c in date all right now the date variable is going to contain the date entered by the user so now we need to check that date and depending on that we need to print out some message so to check that we're going to use the if if with the parenthesis and a curly braces and then here we need to form the condition so to form the condition we're going to use the comparison operators so we're going to use the less than symbol and the greater than symbol now normally the date is said to be valid in a month when it is between 1 to 31st so we need to check two conditions here whether the date is less than one in that case that is invalid date and also if the date is greater than 31 you know you know that is also an invalid case so now what we're going to do is we're going to check that first condition here if the date is greater than zero and we need to use another if if the date is less than 32 so if it is so or if both conditions or this both if evaluated to true then we can say that the entered date is valid so i'm going to use uh, c out and i'm going to say date is valid else if any one of these fails you know it's going to mean that the date is invalid i'm going to save this one build and run this enter the date i'm going to enter 25 it says date is valid so this is how you guys can use the less than and the greater than comparison operators the next thing is about the greater than or equal to and the less than or equal to so here in this program we are just gonna make a slight modification if the date is greater than or equal to one you know a greater than zero means which is greater than or equal to one and the less than 32 means it's gonna mean that it is less than or equal to 31 I'm gonna save it build and run this enter the date let's say 15 date is valid so now we're gonna see how to use the equal to symbol so we need to use two equal to symbols to form the comparison operator equal to and if you use only one equal to then it's going to be the assignment operator and the meaning will be entirely different all right now uh, we're going to use that and in our program let's say if the date is valid then uh, let's say my birthday is on 6th that's why i'm going to compare the date if i'm going to use another if the date is equal to 6 remember that we are using this equal to symbol twice if it is so then we're gonna print out yes six is special all right i'm gonna save it and also here i'm gonna add a 
new line using the end line you know just to make it pretty and build around this enter the date i'm going to enter let's say 10 it says date is valid not that uh yes six is special so i'm going to run it again build and run or run it enter the date six date is valid and yes six is special all right now we have seen how to use you know the comparison operators and the next one is about the not equal to let's say here you just hate the date six and i can change this one to not equal to if the date whatever the value contains here is not equal to six then i'm going to say yes not the devil number all right now i'm going to build and run this enter the date six it says date is valid and you know since this date is equal to six you know this this expression will be evaluated to false and that's why you know this statement is not executed now if i close it run it again and enter any other date let's say 22 you know it says date is valid yes not the devil number all right so now we have seen about the comparison operators in c plus plus now we're gonna be seeing about the logical operators in c plus plus we're gonna normally use the operators such as and or and not so this and or and not are normally used with the boolean values or the expression which is gonna evaluate it to boolean values so now we're gonna check the dates validity or whether a date is valid or not by combining the comparison and the logical operators so i'm gonna write if to say that a date is valid it should be between 1 to 31 and that's why if the date is greater than or equal to zero and the another condition that we need to check is whether the date is less than or equal to 31 all right now we need to check both of these conditions and here we can use a logical operator called and to use that operator we need to write this ampersand symbol twice so this and logical operator is gonna yield or is gonna result true or false when both of these operators are gonna be true the and operator will yield true if any one of these is false you know the and operator is gonna return false and that's why here when the date is greater than or equal to 0 and the date is less than or equal to 31 at that time the both of these operands will be evaluated to true and and this and will result in true and that's why you know the statements inside this if will be executed so it's gonna be C out and I'm gonna say date is valid and if you want we can use the else here okay here it should not be greater than or equal to zero it should be greater than or equal to one all right now date is invalid all right i'm gonna save it i'm gonna build and run this enter the date i'm gonna enter 22 it says date is valid run it again build and run enter the date i'm gonna say 44 date is invalid all right now we have used this logical operator and the next one is about the logical operator or so this logical operator or is gonna yield true when any one of this operand is true anyone left or right if anyone is true then it's gonna yield true if both are false then it's gonna yield false for example here when the date is valid we're gonna check whether the date is in the middle of the month or not so here just for the demonstration purpose let's say your birth date is six and your sister's birth date is eight then uh, <clears throat> you want to compare whether the date is six or eight you know if that date is either six or eight then you're gonna say okay today is special all right now i'm gonna use a if here if the date is equal to 6 or the date is equal to 8 so here we need to check these two conditions and if any one of this is true we need to say you know today is special so to form this we're going to use the or operator so if date is equal to 6 or if date is equal to 8 
if any one of these operands are gonna yield true you know this or is gonna yield true if both are false then this or will yield false so I'm gonna use C out and I'm gonna say today is special alright I'm gonna save it build and run this enter the date I'm gonna enter 12 it says date is valid so here both of these operands will be evaluated to false that's why this or is gonna evaluate it to false and that's why this today is special is not executed and now if I run it again and I'm gonna enter the date as 6 when I hit enter it says date is valid today is special that's because you know since one of this operand of this or is true you know it yields true and that's why you know this uh, statement is executed inside this if all right I'm gonna close it right now and the next one is about the not operator this not operator is normally used with the, the boolean values and here I'm gonna remove all the code and I'm gonna create a boolean variable bool and I'm gonna say human if you are human then uh, you know we're gonna say you're human or else we're gonna say you know you are unknown or whatever it is all right now this not operator which is denoted denoted by this symbol is used when you want to negate the meaning of something for example I have true here and if I use not with it then it's gonna become false whatever the value here you know the opposite of that so here just for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna write an if statement if not human if you are not a human then I'm gonna say you are not human alright I'm gonna save it um, build and run okay before that we need to initialize let's say human equal to true I am a human and that's why let's add a else block here also and we're gonna say see out you are human alright I'm gonna save it build and run it now okay we have an error alright guys because you know here I've added the colon not the semicolon that's why okay add a semicolon build and run it alright it says you are human that's because this human is gonna contain true and when we not or negate it it will become false that's why the if block will not be executed you know the else block is executed and if I change this one to false and build and run it it says you're not human alright that's it guys this is about the comparison and the logical operators in C++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to put a comment in the video and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial